What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch, and uh, back again, once again. How y'all doing today? What's going on, everybody? It's good to be back for another Boruto manga reaction. If you haven't checked out my Dragon Ball Super reaction, those are kind of popping off, so definitely check those out. Now, speaking of popping off, I know that Boruto is also kind of popping off on its own, but let me not let me not lie here. Like I said, Dragon Ball Super is going crazy. Lots of predictions, a lot of things that I've been calling for years are actually starting to come true. But let me not take too much away from Boruto because we're about to get into this. So. Let's get into it. All right, so you're saying you were resurrected using karma? That's what Momoshiki said. I can't blame you for not believing me. Yeah, so Borto looked like he got his karma back. Apparently about 82% of Momoshiki's data has already finished extracting, but he used the remaining 18% to rebuild the destroyed parts of my body. Which is OD if you think about it. That's, a, that's not that much of a percentage, but goodness. Well, since they're able to digitalize components of their own flesh, I suppose converting that data into another person's components isn't much of a stretch, no matter how mind-blowing that possibility sounds. Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> if Boruto died, Momoshiki would lose his vessel and his soul would be extinguished. Even an Otsutsuki can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Hmm. So Momoshiki sacrificed part of himself to save Boruto and escaped destruction. So I guess that makes sense. I guess. <laughs> Yet while his soul is still intact, it means Momoshiki lacks the data needed to construct his body, right? Yes, in fact, since he'll never regain that data, he'll never be able to resurrect again, right? So it seems, a silver lining you could say. However, the problem of him taking over Boruto's consciousness from time to time still remains. We still don't have an outright solution for that. True. But the meds have been more effective than, than expected. As long as he keeps taking them, we should be able to suppress Momoshiki's domination long term. Orto says, nope, I don't need them anymore. And this doctor dude says, huh? How to put it, I feel like something's changed from before. It's hard to describe, but I have this feeling that I can channel his power better now. Hmm, Boruto, okay. Kawaki's in the bed. Uh, uh, he's unconscious, but expecting a lot of chakra. Oh, sorry. He's unconscious from expending a lot of chakra, but his life isn't in danger. No obvious external injuries either. He's almost fully self-healed thanks to the nano machines in his body. But it'd be best to check him out in the depth, in depth at the lab. Um, why did you ask for me rather than Mr. Amato? We need to confirm a few things with that bastard first. Until then, we can't let him near Kawaki. So long as there are no health issues, he stays here. Yo, this man Ibiki is still chilling. I think that's his name, right? Uh, you're really planning to leave him unbound when he possesses so much power? The thing is, we can't restrain him even if we wanted to. We could just shrink him. He could just shrink himself with Suku. Uh, oh wow, Sukuna Hikona, there it is, and get free. And he can absorb any sealing jutsu using karma. It's no simple thing to physically bind him right now. Conversely, it'd be real bad if we end up antagonizing him. Fortunately, his wish is simple. As long as Naruto is safe, he'll have no beef with us. Shikamaru is very smart. I, st I still love Shikamaru, one of the greatest characters of all time. All we can do is have faith. Trust him and make sure he stays on our side. That's if we want to stick to peaceful solutions, of course. Heh, <laughs> good. That's how Kon Konoha Village does things, says Naruto. Shikamaru says, so you're okay with it, Naruto? Yeah, we'll have a nice long talk when he wakes up. Okay, talk no jutsu, confirmed. Did something happen with Lord Seventh? Uh, what do you mean, says Shikamaru? I hope it's just my imagination, but he seems to be brooding over something. He just got back this morning after narrowly escaping death. He's exhausted. You're right. Please forgive me. Oh, Sasuke. I have intel. It concerns Code's whereabouts. Okay. One of, Boruto, uh, one of Boruto's cult facilities? I thought we'd hit them all. There's a hidden structure on the edge of the land of snow in an area considered taboo even by locals. It's apparently a secret facility that only a few of the cult's top brass even know about. It seems they engaged in hu inhumane rituals, human experimentation, 
an unknown to Kara, even scientific ninja tool R&D of particular interest is that it was also a facility for disposing cyborgs that Jigen had ordered to be scrapped. I see, sounds sufficiently sketchy. Any conclusive evidence that code is there? Nothing definitive, but there's an acquaintance of codes there, a man named Bug. Got it, all right. I'll order a deployment since we have no other leads, says Shikamaru. Sasuke says, I heard about what Kawaki did. Is it true? Shikamaru says, yeah, he killed Boruto. Even if it was to stop Momoshiki, he did it right in front of me and Naruto. Thankfully, Boruto turned out to be okay, but Sasuke give him the... Shikamaru says, the only other ones who know about it are Ino, Sai, Amato, and Katasuke. We are still deciding how to move forward. Sasuke says, where's Boruto? He should be with his friends, including Sarada. Go see them. All right, so they're actually at that uh, that that snow um, uh, like hideout that Sasuke just found. It looks like they are there. So then this chick says, "I see. So that's what happened. Be thankful, Code. Your precious ten tail sacrifice, Boruto, is still alive. He was revived using Momoshiki's karma." revived says code are you serious hey code maybe like a zombie moreover along the way it seems the rest of the karma's compressed data was extracted meaning that boruto is fully otsutsuki now so he's fully otsutsuki so he's, he's not human no more is that that's just it like damn that's that's crazy Somehow they shared an exchange that I can't see directly with my Senrigan clairvoyance. A Senrigan, that's what he says, that's how you say it, sorry. I wonder if he's able to communicate with Momoshiki on some sort of spiritual plane. Unforeseen would be an understatement, but I'll take that piece of good fortune. Guess it was meant to be. You're lucky that Boruto is alive, but I'm honestly fed up with the multiple grandstanding acts you've displayed. You took it too far, especially using my little brother without my permission. I didn't really have any other option, did I? Listen, your job is to bring Kawaki to me. And in return, I'll help you regain your power to aid your own goals, since you're useless to me the way you are right now. However, if I determine that even after your gain after you gain your strength, you're still useless, incom incompetent, or simply just a hindrance. We siblings have absolutely no qualms about disposing of you. Consider yourself warned. Well, goddamn. You mean we're not even comrades? How sad. That's business for you. If you don't produce results, you'll lose even this sad relationship. Did I not mention that I already took measures? All that's left is... Oh my god. The timing. He has a zipper planted on Shikamaru. On the back of his neck. Let me show y'all. Damn. So they can literally swoop in on them when the timing is right. Quite literally. That's, that's, that's crazy. Okay, so Shikamaru is going to see Amato. Well, what's the lowdown on Boruto? It sounded far-fetched at first, but the proof is in the pudding. The blood analysis aligns with his explanation. And Momoshiki, can we definitely say he can't resurrect anymore? Yeah, it is 100% impossible. Good. That's great, actually. By the way... Oh, he, Shikamaru got him by the collar. Hey, what the... You know what I want to ask. That's right. About Kawaki's karma. Right, and they switch scenes. All right, so now we're checking out Boruto. It really doesn't hurt or anything at all hey watch your hands <laughs> sarada went right for his chest well it was a pretty close call but as you can see i'm fine though that bastard code got away uh, mitsuki says question why'd code try to kill you when he wanted to feed you alive to ten tails or uh you see that was and then he remembers shikamaru's words listen up boruto don't tell anyone yet that kawaki killed you not until we decide what Konoha's policy toward him will be. 
So then Boruto says, maybe he couldn't control himself. It didn't seem like he thinks too far ahead. Either way, says Sarada, you become fully Otosuki, right? Are you going to be all out targeted now? Yeah, probably. I don't know where he's hiding, but I won't let him escape next time. That's not what I meant. I'm saying you need to be extra careful. What if you're attacked when you're by yourself? Sarada's right. Oh, here comes Sasuke. He can appear unexpectedly. Don't go anywhere alone, even within the village. Though, I'm one to talk. Yeah, man, you're, you're, you're the OG, Sasuke. You be all right. And they, they say, he goes, old man Sasuke, dad. Uh, Sasuke says, and not just Boruto. Now that Kawaki has enough power to challenge Code, Code will likely stop at nothing to get the limiters on his power removed, which likely makes his first target. Old man Amato. Oh, so now they go back to Shikamaru and Amato. You restored Kawaki's karma, implanted it on your own without his consent, no less. Why? It's simple. He fundamentally loathes karma. I probably wouldn't get his consent, and yet he desired power. Enough to protect Lord Hokage and chase off enemies. Either way, in order for the karma to re-manifest, his intent was absolutely essential. In short, Kawaki himself chose this path. This is the result he wished for. It's a very cynical way to put it, but sure. What if he didn't have what if he didn't have it when he needed it? That's why I implanted it ahead of time. Wasn't the reason why you were able to survive this latest crisis because you had Kawaki's karma? Am I wrong? Don't dodge the question at hand. Setting aside the result, what you didn't what you did was not for Kanoha or Kawaki's benefit. If you ask me, you seem obsessed with Kawaki's karma itself. Why? Oh snap! They're about to infiltrate. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, he came out the neck. He came out the neck. Sorry to interrupt, but I didn't want to waste this prime opportunity. And then Amato's like, code. I forget what the girl's name is, but she says, you fool. A conversation was just getting interesting. So then he swipes away Shikamaru. Shikamaru gets backed into the wall. Gah! Shikamaru says Amato. Then he gets Amato by the throat in a choke, hold, choke slam hold. It's been a while, Amato. You ought to worry about your own welfare. Now, rescind the limiters on my power. You don't want to get hurt, do you? I can't believe you just showed up here. You'll be sensed right away, and an army of Shinobi will be here soon. But I know that all you need to do is look in my eyes and say the command. Only takes seconds, right? God, how do you know? Oh man, is that easy? Damn. So Eno, like they said, uh, spotted it. This chakra, don't tell me it's code in Amato's lab. Shikamaru. Yeah, he's here, right in front of me. Damn it, we'll send reinforcements. No, hold on, you know. Just inform Naruto and the others. Don't send anyone here yet. Huh? He showed up because it's just us. I don't want to provoke him into running off. Let me handle it. But just keep monitoring him. Got it. Wait. There he said, got it. Wait for my signal. Inu says, Shikamaru. Shadow possession jutsu. Kage money. Okay. So then he gets him. But then he says, and then Code says, it's useless. I can still move my fingertips enough to slash his uh, carotid open. Hey, Amato, you know my personality, right? I'd hurry up if I were you. Oh, snap. You thought I wouldn't notice the claw mark on the back of my neck <laughs> that I'd fall for such a transparent trap? And then Amato said, oh no, Code says, what? So now what? So what's he doing? It's showtime. Wake up, Bronco. Who the fuck is Bronco? Wait a second. Ain't this the chick that they already fought like from forever ago? That's Delta. Oh shit. Okay, it's, it's just getting real here. Delta, she's a new model rep reprogrammed to be a battle asset that protects Konoha. Delta. Your target is code. He's an enemy of Konoha. I know, I know. Shut up already. Don't keep screeching like a darn fool. Okay, well, she still has all her attitudes, so okay. All right. Oh. 
Kicked him right in the side. All right, let go of Amato. Shikamaru says, I guessed... <clears throat> I guess that if I approached the model with few to no guards, you might shove up code. It'd be too good of an opportunity for an idiot like you to pass up. I'll spare you my one hit destructive beams since they'll re wreck too much havoc in this enclosed space. Uh oh, so wait a minute, he's got more, he's got more zippers. His right hand went in the claw mark. Bastard, I won't let you escape. Oh, wait a minute. So, okay, he, he prevented him from going in all the way, I think? Escape quite the opposite. Oh, he's bringing in some help. A comrade of codes, Ada. And this is where it ends this month. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so that was a really, really, really solid chapter. So, the funny thing is with Boruto is that now that we're at a point where the story is, I would say, at a very critical point with all things considered, Boruto kind of just died, got brought back to life, is now 100% Otsutsuki, but he has this like newfound confidence that he's able to now control this karma where Kawaki just got his karma back and they're trying to figure out what the hell is going on with him. Meanwhile, there's a whole ass fight that's about to happen in like a small enclosed room and shikamaru has no backup outside of this new reprogrammed delta and uh it's not looking too good because now ada is in the situation and in the program too so it seems like we do have some sort of like a two-on-two -two with a model just kind of being there in this current state right now and i think naruto will more than likely show up in the next chapter he'll get involved i wonder if boruto is gonna have some sort of sixth sense to detect even that happening but i'm not sure we'll have to see until next week i actually it's funny i actually made sure that i wore my my uh naruto stuff i even got the i got the mat the, the freaking pants to go with it check it check it Oh. By the way, let me know what you guys thought about this month's chapter in the comments below. Anything that you guys want me to talk about a little bit more because don't just don't just because I do a lot of Dragon Ball videos don't mean I can't make more videos about Boruto. If you guys want to know more about my thoughts on this chapter or anything that I may think about or any of your guys' theories that would possibly happen going forward, drop them in the comments below. Make sure you are sharing the video and liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell for the notification to when my uploads go live on this channel. And Take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.